firstly, how was the evening for you in general? Amazing, wasn't it? Oh, absolutely loved it. Everyone was so welcoming and friendly. Um, it was very relaxed. I felt very relaxed. I enjoyed uh, storytelling. I think got everybody clapping. That seemed to get the room very lively. Um, there were some very lively groups out tonight. A few few birthdays going on, I think. But the, uh, the golf ladies, I think, were the highlight of my evening. They were special. So they were your highlight. What else stood out most to you? Because I think it's such an important thing for the local community as well, isn't it? I was quite surprised to see how much work and development is going on in Sussex Schools partnerships, um, which is great. Obviously, getting kids very early, getting them interested in sport very early is key to their development long term. I remember, you know, I started competing in athletics when I was about six years old. So the fact that primary schools, uh, they seem to have a very good support network in and around the Sussex area is a really positive thing good for the future. What was your main support growing up as a child and getting into sport? Was it your family? Was it was it a teacher you remember? I mean, what really truly inspired you? We were talking about this actually on our table tonight. Um, I guess my, my first support network had to, to start at home really. Um, my parents pretty much footed the bill for my athletics career and it wasn't until I started to really excel at it that I was eligible for things like lottery funding. Thank God for, for things like that because it's a, a huge help. You know, a budding athlete that aspires to compete for their country it can't always be easy so it's really important with you know the help of sponsors that have, have turned up tonight that people continue to plough money into sport it has such a massive positive impact on our communities and our young people. Over the years you've had to go through I'm sure as most athletes do adversity how do you get over that and come out on the stronger side and win gold for example? I think you know, the hardest thing about adversity is always, you, you're always in the present moment. When adversity strikes, you never know when it's going to hit. And so it's really important to deal only with the present. So deal with what you have to get through that day. It might be that you have to finish a training session. It might be that, you know, you have to get over to a competition and just crack on. And it's literally about taking it day by day. Be in the present. Don't think about tomorrow. Just generally set yourself your goal focus on it and just keep working through. So is that generally the kind of advice you would give a young person looking to be uh, someone like you or half of what you are? Yeah, definitely. I think every single athlete, you know, any athlete that's won a medal or reached the height of their, their sport has overcome some sort of adversity. I remember going into 2008, you know, I lost my father. Jessica Ennis, for example, was out injured. We didn't com get to compete at the 2008 Olympic Games. Fast forward four years, Jess has won a gold medal in the uh, heptathlon. I've got a Commonwealth goal to my name. So you can literally turn your career around in a matter of months. And it, for me, it took me 12 months to turn it around. So you just have to keep plugging on, really. What's your most memorable moment? Was it winning that gold, of course, in memory of your father and just for yourself? Honestly, I, could, I reckon it's probably winning come dine with me. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> I'm only joking. Is that quite scary? Of course. No, it is, yeah. <laughs> of course, I think... You know, winning the Commonwealth gold was one thing. That was extremely... I put myself in a very high-pressured situation. Like you mentioned, I, I wanted to win it for myself, for my family, in memory of my father. But winning come dine with me, that's on another level. Having to cook a tart fino pom from scratch. What even is that, Louise? <laughs> it's a puff pastry base with, like, sliced apples and, oh, like, sugar know. and butter, lovely, and it's though. delicious. It's French. It's off to mm. die for delicious mm. I'm sure you can't really eat that kind of stuff when you're when you're training and working hard you can obviously put yourself in these young people's shoes and I think it's important to remember that they do have idols like yourself mm -hmm. uh, who did you look up to as a, as a, as a youngster do you as know a what? child when you were first getting into athletics I used to have a poster of Denise Lewis on my wall um, and I remember she had the one arm cut out of her kind of uh, athletic suit and I just thought she was the absolute bomb and uh, Denise and I are very good friends now she's always mentored me throughout my athletics career and so I very much take on the responsibility for young athletes and trying to look after them and give them as much good advice as I can as well because I know how important that's been in my career.